Hello to my pity pals. So I'm all moved in to my new place. Uh, I've been unloading boxes like crazy. Uh, it's gonna be a little while before I get settled, but I still wanna post some videos in the uh, interim. So today I'm just letting you guys know what I'm doing. I'm making some containers for my bathroom, storage containers. So I'm just gonna let you in on that. It's kind of an interesting technique. I call this technique antique masking, but I don't know if it has another name. Uh, I've never really found any other videos on this specific technique. Uh, I did it once when I was in like second grade and it's just something that I remembered. I don't see a lot of people doing it anymore, but it is a pretty cool effect. Um, it gives this kind of like a crackly leather effect. Uh, it comes in different colors. This is brown. All this is, is masking tape and shoe polish. That's it. Uh, shoe polish comes in different colors. So this is just a regular brown shoe polish. You could use blue, black, you know, whatever color you could find. Um, I'm also gonna try today doing it with some watercolor. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I've never tried it, but we'll see. It might be a cool uh, effect. So you can use pretty much any type of container that you want. This is just a mason jar. Um, this is just a tin can. This one's been sitting on the counter in my bathroom for like two years. I keep my Q-tips in it. Uh, it's gotten a little faded. You know, it's in the bathroom, so it gets a lot of moisture. Uh, you can see the the ridges of the can through it because I didn't I didn't seal it or anything. I just you know this is just masking tape. Um, this one hasn't been through any moisture or anything, so this is, that's how dark it is when, you know, before it gets a lot of abuse. And I've used this technique on glass, you know, the tin. Um, today I'm going to be using it on plastic, but you can use this technique on pretty much anything. A friend of mine taped the front of her ukulele. Uh, in this technique and it looked really cool when she was done with it. And this is a very simple technique, but it is a little time consuming. So you could do it with kids, you know, maybe something like this size a kid might be able to to do, but it just depends on uh, how long of an attention span they have. Um, this one, this size, took me about an hour just to put the tape down. So, I mean, just depends on the kid and how long they can focus. So today I'm covering this. It's just a plastic uh, Sterilite container. Um, my bathroom has kind of uh, neutral colors like that tan brownish. So I'm going to cover this with that technique with the brown and then I'm going to use this. Uh, it's going to sit on the back of the toilet to put all of my hygiene items in um, just so that they're they could be readily available without being on display in the guest bathroom. Uh, yeah, just as a c container. So literally all you need for this is a container, masking tape, uh, shoe polish. I'm also gonna try watercolor today. We'll see how that works. And all you do is pull off pieces of masking tape. Um, I kind of like to pull them in half. That way they're not uh, so many flat edges, I guess, on whatever I'm putting. But the smaller the pieces, of course, the longer it's going to take you. Uh, if you do big pieces like that, it kind of gives you a, a different look than that. So all you do is tear pieces off little by little until your entire surface is covered. Uh, this obviously is going to take me a very long time, so I'm not going to uh, put you guys through that. I'll just show you the end result. Um, but I do have one here that's covered, mason jar. So I'm going to try and use the watercolor on this just to see what happens. I haven't tried it yet. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like when you're all, before you put the shoe polish on it. So this is all covered, but I'm going to try and put some watercolor on it to see how it looks. Now I'm just going to be using these very generic watercolors. 
that you could get at the dollar store. You know, you could use Crayola or any of those cheapo ones that the little kids use. I do have professional watercolors, but for this, I don't think it's gonna make a difference. And for this, I think I'm gonna go with a kind of a purple color. My grandma really liked purple. She recently passed away, so we're gonna do this in her honor. Hmm. This is going down very oddly. I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not. At any rate, it's going to require a lot of saturation. Um, just brushing it over. I mean, even when it's wet, it's not, it's not really doing much. So I'm gonna try and get it where it's a little thicker. You can make watercolors thick if you don't add a lot of water especially these cheapy ones. If you get them really, if you just wet them down and, and leave them for a little bit, they can get really thick. There. Let's see if we can get it to focus there. So that's gonna take a while. So I'll let you guys know that when I'm done. I'll let you see the uh, dried out result. All right, so here's the watercolor. I threw a couple little flameless tea lights in there to light it up. And I could also use it as like a flower vase or something like that. But in order to get the watercolor to stick to this, I had to get it really tacky. Um, just putting it down regular, it, it just it wouldn't adhere at all. So uh, if you want to use this, you have to get it really tacky for it to uh, saturate the color at all. But I think that's kind of a cool look, though I like the uh, shoe polish look a little better. All right, so I finished the box. It took me uh, several hours. My hands got all pruning just from the adhesive from the tape. I'm gonna take the shoe polish and go over it with the shoe polish. And really all you need to apply that is a paper towel. You just dip the paper towel right into the shoe polish. Just rub it on there, just make sure it gets in all the little cracks. And that's about all there is to that. Very simple technique. Comes out pretty cool. Now this is going in my bathroom, so I'm gonna go over it with some Mod Podge just to make it uh, watertight so it doesn't fade like this other one that I had. Um, but yeah, it's pretty fun, although I wouldn't go this large unless you have like a really specific project, uh, especially if you're doing kids, <laughs> I would stick with something about that size because this did take a long time. So on a side note, I am in the process of selling my house. I don't know what my schedule is going to look like at all. Um, but I do want to do more on this channel, which is just gonna be kind of a miss, mishmash of this or that or the other thing until I figure out what I really wanna do. So this is just something I was doing today. So I decided to share it with you guys. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you try it, let me know. Cause I always like to see when people use these techniques. But I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good one.